Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about your entire immigration process from the moment you get inside the airport in your home country till you leave airport in Canada. So let's get straight into today's video. There are some things to keep in mind is to always have one folder with all your original documents and two extra copies of each original document that you're carrying because the immigration officer might ask to keep few of those. Make sure to contact registration office of your university or college and fill out your arrival form. This will help you to get documents that are necessary for your immigration in Canada. Letter of enrollment, devices, etc. Even though it's not peak COVID right now and it's not mandatory, but I think it's smart to download ArriveCan app and fill out all your details just in case if they ask you for the same. Another one is to reach at least three hours before your flight departures. This gives you enough time to through check-in, immigration, security, and have enough time to find your boarding gate. So the first thing you'll do when you get inside the airport terminal is that you're gonna check in your baggages which means that you will go to your airline counter you'll go there you'll give them your passport your ticket and they will verify your name your birth date and after that they will ask you to weigh your bags on the scale and put your stickers on your bag and see your bags when you arrive in canada we'll make sure how many cabin baggages do you have if you have more than two then your hand baggage which will also go into your luggage and they might ask you you to pay extra for that or they'll give you a sticker for your cabin bag when when you're flying from your destination the immigration officer over there will ask you very basic questions on what's your name your birth date uh, where you're going why you're going and for how long you are going they might ask you for your admissions letter and after that you will go through security there is a faster way to go through security is to always have one bin for your electronics one bin for your shoes and bells third bin for liquids like perfumes and makeup and the last bin will be of all the bags in which you carried all your stuff so follow this step uh, your security would be much easier faster and stress-free now you're gonna look for your boarding gate if your layover is in middle eastern countries their layover varies from three to five hours and from there a direct flight to canada is usually 14 hours long after you land in Canada, you will go through security again. After that, you will be in line for immigration. They will ask a lot of questions here. The immigration officer will check all your legal documents and might to keep some of those for their records. Now they will stamp on your passport here near age before or after your visa stating your date of arrival. Now you need to make sure you get in line for your study permit if it's not provided on the same counter. Because if you don't get your study permit from airport, it's much and a difficult process to get it from immigration later on. This entire process of going from security to immigration in Canada can take up to one to two hours depending on the rush, especially if you're going during main intakes like September and January. Line is gonna be pretty bad. So prepare to spend more two to three hours at the airport. You will go to collect your luggage from the belt and then you leave the airport. And the last step is to get a SIN number, which is a social insurance number from Service Canada. So make sure to do that within next few days of your arrival and this is where your immigration process ends as a student or an immigrant in Canada that brings us to end of today's video I hope you found it useful don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions I'll see you in my next video bye